What's going on there, friends and neighbors? I am Shin Rob Jira, and today I'm going to be talking about the NECA King Kong. A relic. Ah, it appears to be addressed to somebody by the name of Small Venus. Hey, my name is Kaiju Dork, and I have a quick message for this wonderful human, Shin Rob Jira. Thank you. Thank you for amazing content that you put out that really helped me get through a lot of in my life. Hope you grow larger and have more fun making content that helped me and others get through sh times. Sincerely, Kaiju Dork. P.S. Put in my ass. Also, I'll be selling four NECA Rodans on eBay, 40 to 50 bucks each. You heard the man, everybody. Kaiju Dork will be selling NECA Rodan figures for 40 to $50, so if you've been looking for one and can't find one, hit the man's up. Also, I bought this figure from Kaiju Dork for a heck of a price. My guy, my dude, Kaiju Dork, truly appreciate it. I am absolutely going to be keeping this letter, as you are the first person to write fan mail to me. Wow. This is a momentous moment right here. First Shin Rob Jira fan mail. Wow. It's like I'm getting somewhere, kinda. Before anybody asks, I want to open up a P.O. box so badly, but your boy can't afford it, especially in these times of pandemicals. But anyway, let's hand over this heavy big monkey on over to the good doctor to snip out of the box and we can get started. <laughs> Right off the bat, I really do dig this box for King Kong. I'm just gonna call him Kong because I'm just just what I'm used to right now. The only thing I will say about this though is that I feel like it could get lost. You know what I mean? Like it really doesn't pop out much. Like you're only really going to find it if you're looking for it. That kind of deal. Because you know, you look up there, you look at those boxes. It's like, oh yeah, I can see those from a mile away. This one blends in with the puke on the ground in your local Walmart. That's just me though. Regardless of what I just said, this box is very, very nice. We have a very angry looking gong on the front. On the side. You know, I'll get to that face later. And on the back, we have these very savage images of Kong and that. And on the other side, we have yet another angry Kong. So opening up, as you can see, the figure is not in there anymore. But this is probably one of my more favored images on this box. Like, that is beautiful. That is fantastic. That is Kong. Looking at the top of the box, we got King Kong, we got Sand Dirt, and we got some plantits over there, NECA. Warning, ages 14 and up. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the insert for this box because it is a very fairly nice insert. So it'll be nice and uh, gentle. And as you can see, it's got that same matte looking finish to it, a lot like the box. If you have this release, you can actually just feel it and they both feel the same, if that's uh, a quality that you wanted to know. <laughs> yeah, we've got dirt, leaf foliage, down trees, branches, rocks, leaves, very, very nice. Despite this figure coming with more than enough accessories to quench my thirst at least, I do feel this is a nice little thing to include, especially for those of you that really like your figures to have a background to them. Good on you there, NECA. And here is our lovely little monkey king. And for the most part, I think he looks pretty dang good. I do have a few issues with this figure. Nothing too major, and I feel like it's a very exclusive, uh, rob thing to really complain about but we will get to all those things in due time i like that the way this figure looks i like the way that this figure feels i like that it is a more beefier figure and to show you just how beefy kongi boy really is welcome to the gun show everybody but i think we need a little bit more firepower Mon monkey 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 <laughs> yes neka kong he's a big boy he outclasses both the gvk kong and the kong skull island kong from playmates and he is just at the pectoral height for the bigger Kong figures. This is a nine inch figure for the most part, so him being rather close in height to the 11 inch figures, obviously that makes sense. I think I have to correct myself there. This is an eight inch figure, not a nine inch figure. Sorry, kind of jumped the gun there. So yes, the height of this figure is a very big plus. And he really does fit in with my growing King Kong collection. Believe it or not, until this GVK madness started, I really didn't own any King Kong anything, actually. So there you go. But anyway, right out of the box, I was instantaneously impressed and I was also quite giggly. I don't know. This face just, <laughs> it kind of looks like Kong just sat on a bushel of pricker bushes and now his butt is just covered in thorns. I don't know. I know it's 
in somewhat reference to the 1933 Kong. Well, in somewhat of a reference, since this Kong really isn't any particular Kong because of all those copyright thingies. I have heard some whispers that this might have actually been a Kong Skull Island Kong that NECA were working on for the GVK line before they were told, hey, you can't do that. But there is absolutely no weight and or proof to those claims. Just an interesting little tidbit. Anyway, before I get into paint and detail and all the fun stuff, we're going to get into articulation. So let's get going. Kong's monkey head can go all the way around just like this. He can look up pretty far. He can't really look down all that well. The farthest Kong's head can really go down, he's kind of at eye level levels of having your head at a normal stance, so there's that. The arms on Kong, while somewhat lanky and long, which is a uh, point of complaints for a lot of people, I personally don't mind. My first Kong, he had rather long arms himself, and then kind of normal arms. It was the 60s. But these arms are rather beefy, not just in how they look, but in the amount of articulation they have. So you can go out about that far with Kong's arm. You can go all the way around. You have a swivel at the bicep. You have a swivel at the elbow as well. You've also got one heck of a double bend at the elbow like so. So you can go out about that far and you can bend in about that far. You will also have a swivel at the elbow and that obviously constitutes for, you know, the double bend. You will also be able to swivel at the wrists and you will be able to bend up and down that far with the wrists as well. Deposing monkey. The power of Kong compels you. At the torso, you can perform a 360 degrees helicopter Kong. Helicopter. <laughs> From Kong's normal stance, you will be able to bend back pretty far, like limbo level. Levels, and you will be able to bend forward rather far as well, which will help with Kong looking down a lot more. You will get a bit of a goiter hump on Kong's back over there. Doesn't exactly look natural. It actually looks like Kong should be getting to a hospital and quick. It's not the tumor! But you're really not going to be posing him from the back. I mean, from the back, it's really not even that noticeable. From the side, yeah, but more than likely you're going to be posing the figure from the front, so shouldn't matter. One thing that I absolutely love about this figure is this. Both legs are going to have a very nice and wide range of movement at the thighs. And uh, Kong's little crotch and butt diaper over here are going to allow the legs to go a little bit further out because it is a softer material than the rest of the figure. So you will be able to kick pretty far up. You will be able to kick not too far back because... Zero out of ten, Kong ain't got no cheeks. <laughs> Y'all can hate on playmates as much as you want, but those are the cheeks! These are absolutely not Skull Island's cheeks. Where was I? Ah yes, you will get a double bend at the knee like so. You will get a swivel at the shin. And I'm sure you'll get a swivel at the knee as well. It's just not really cooperating with me right now. Ah oh, yes, I got it. Oh, darn you. Lack of AC. There we go. See? All the way around. And you're also going to get a very whimsical pivot at the ankle. It's just, I feel the feet should be going up and should be pointing down a little bit further than I can really get them. It's a little unfortunate, but I'll sacrifice up and down movement at the ankle for these pivots because those will allow for some very fun poses. But with that being said, I think it's time to put Kong in his ultimate form. You all probably know this by now, but this Kong absolutely does chip in the paint department. I think that's more so on the joints. I don't really see it anywhere else. But if you watch Steven's video of Steven's toy reviews on this figure, you would have known that by now. So, yeah. hey Kong, guess what? Uh -oh. I'm gonna rip your head off. <laughs> My God. <laughs> there we go. Now that is ferocity until you see that Kong is just a slight little bit cockeyed, just a bit. I'm sure this is something that will be fixed in future releases, but it's really not too bad. It's more so just that straight line look at him from other angles. It ain't so bad, but you know what? I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I rag on SH Monster Arts on this all the time, so NECA, I'm going to say this to you. This shouldn't be a problem. This shouldn't be something that happens, but I know that you'll fix it, to which SHMA more than likely would. 
wouldn't. So, there's that. Anyway, Kong's new head. Very ferocious, covered in blood, just like the original, but with less of a wonky face. The teeth are protruding out of his mouth, looking very, very threatening and gummy. The teeth not only look sharp, ah, they are sharp. So, be careful when posing Kong- Ow! See? Be careful when posing Kong's head down. Please use your fingers on the tops and bottom of his head. Do not put your finger in his mouth thinking that those teeth will not hurt because they will. Speaking of the mouth though, dear g -bai. Look at that. A lot of really nice paint going on inside Kong's mouth. We've got that pink flesh tone in there. It is being accented with a nice black brownish wash in there, both on the teeth and at the back of Kong's throat, on the sides of his mouth and on his tongue. You will also get that on the teeth and the teeth did get it a little sloppily because as you can see there's some on the gums there's some gums on the teeth you could see it on the teeth but you could also see it in places on the teeth where they shouldn't be Kong looking like he got some cavities been munching on too much of that skull island bruise yeah, a little gunkily painted when it comes to the teeth but for the most part it gets the job done in looking intimidating I mean, despite the eyes being a little bit crooked, they do look very, very nice. Nice and glossy, a little bit more red than the original head. I guess I might as well just do this now. Uh, the original head here, we've got some very nicely painted eyes, mostly looking straight at you. The inside of the mouth is a little bit toned down with the wash, which is nice. We've still got those wounds all over Kong's face with his ears and his uh, mountainous top of his head. <laughs> it looks very, very nice for what it is. It's very reminiscent of the 1933 Kong. Other than that, there's really not too much to talk about with this head, other than... Uh... I don't know. It's not that I hate this head, it's just I really don't see myself posing this figure with this head on it. But I also like that we got some of that pink that's found in the mouth inside the nose as well. So it, Kong's nose just isn't this, like, void of nothingness. I mean, I'm not talking crap about this head, but I definitely do prefer the flesh tone in the nose than just nothing at all. Now this could be a mistake, or this could be something that was intentional. Either way, I prefer it. And as you can see, what I said about the eyes, again, now that I have a side-by-side image of them. Yeah, this Kong's eyes are a little bit whiter. These are a little bit more on the red side. Maybe uh, Kong was smoking that skull ganja, or maybe it's just something that happens when he gets mad. With that being said, Kong's got a lot of nice looking wounds on the man titty. They look painful. They look deep. They are detailed and glossed up very, very nice. And we've got some more wounds on Kong's side over here. Now in terms of wounds, that's essentially where all of the wounds stop because the rest of the figure is more of what you see here. The details on Kong's fists over here are very, very nice. You've got all the wrinkles, you've got fingernails even. You can see the inklings of some fingernails in Kong's balled up fist. You can see them on the thumb and yeah, Kong's got some gnarly looking fists right there and you need some gnarly looking fists if you're going to be the king of Skull Island. But as you all know, a king just doesn't need fists. He needs some strong manly monkey hands. Alrighty Kong, you ready to have your wrists torn off? Off? Don't worry, it's not going to hurt. Oh, you big baby. We're going for round two. Oh, you'll be fine again. It's just... You see that? I just love that. Not only is the alternate face more expressive to me personally, but these hands... Oh, they're perfect. I just love getting this Kong into these battle action poses with these sprawled out hands because it looks like he's about to lunge. He's going for the jugular. And in some instances, it looks like Kong's having an existential crisis and not knowing why he exists. But at the end of the day, this do be looking rather fresh and I'm glad I can have Kong in a pose where he can hold something like this. A little bit dreary, but what can you do? Again, these open hands just aid in having this Kong in some brutal positions, often looking like he's going for the killing move here. You can even give this Kong some Evangelion posture. You know, with the arms just like hanging way out in front and everything like that, hunched over. I don't know, I just really like how it looks. I mean, he looks good like this with the balled up fists too. In fact, I've even been able to get this Kong in an all fours motion with his head up just enough. Maybe if I can bend the knees a little bit more, get him a little bit scrunched down and such. Yeah, you can get him into this 
particular stance rather nicely. Again, the goiter hump is going to be on his back, but you know, what are you gonna do? Speaking of not knowing what to do, I completely forgot to talk about the detail with the alternate hands. Man, this video is just a mess. Somebody stop me. I'm so unprofessional. Yeah, you're going to see some of that remaining brown paint on the joints over here. Some of it has rubbed off, unfortunately, but I really don't mind that. Paints on joints don't make any sense to me, unless it was molded in that color. But anyway, you're going to get the grody looking fingernails. You are going to get some beautiful line work on the bottom of Kong's hands, on his palms, on his fingers. These hands look awesome. Total monkey's paw type shizzle right there. Now there was something that I noticed looking at this figure right out of the box. There is a bit of a mismatching of paint going on. And strangely enough, they're both kind of in the same place somewhat. You're going to get them on the elbows over here. This tint of brown is a little bit redder as compared to the rest of the paint used on the fur. Now up here we have a rather normal lighter brown. It gets a little bit darker over here. And then over here it kind of turns to that red reddish brown and then it goes back to a normal brown normal brown normal brown and it's uh unfortunately on both sides and it's also going to be on the knee joints as well including the shins i really don't know what's going on there and as you can see the entirety of it is painted like that it's not just a random thing i don't know maybe i just don't know how gorilla's fur or giant apes fur are really supposed to be. Maybe this is a natural thing. But when looking at it in a figure sense, it looks like some paint was misplaced. That lighter patch of fur is going to be on Kong's head as well. When comparing the two heads, it's very different as this Kong has more of this lighter of a brown on the head and this one has more of the arm joint and uh, shins and knee joint kind of brown on there. I wonder what that was. Hmm. I don't know, but yeah, as you can tell, there's a difference. <laughs> so with all that being said, Kong is a big figure. Kong is a very well articulated figure. Kong is a nicely detailed figure. I feel like the fur could have been more accentuated on, maybe like sculpted a little bit deeper into the mold. Other than that, I don't have any issues with this figure. I am definitely looking forward to repaints of this figure, definitely, because I can see the major potential for doing a lot of cool things with this mold. And you know, if NECA decide to release different accessories with the many repaints that I'm sure are on the way, I will definitely be picking those up as well because this Kong figure, it's nice. It's sizable. Again, great articulation. Fur could have been a little bit deeper, but other than that, I like this figure a lot and I really have no issue with it. Honestly, for future releases, just make this fur, that fur, and a little bit of this fur a little bit more on the normal brownish side because it's not that crazily noticeable from far away but uh, you know i notice it and anyway let's get into those size comparisons up first, yeah, I had to do it. I had to compare this Kong to NECA's Godzilla releases, two of the more recent ones, Reissue 2014 and Biolante Bile Godzilla 89. And it is unfortunate that this figure really doesn't scale too well with the basic NECA Godzilla figures, or the gigantic one at that matter. Yeah, they really don't scale too well together at all, actually. <laughs> and that is unfortunate. I really would have liked a uh, Kong and Godzilla figure to be scaled very well with one another. And I think that's where that little blip that I mentioned earlier started coming about. The fact that this was probably going to be part of a whole new take on Godzilla from NECA. Just larger Godzilla figures in general, but we'll never know. I doubt it. I really do. I don't know. It doesn't feel like this was supposed to be a Skull Island Kong. Not entirely, at least. I don't know. Maybe more people will see it more than me. But anyway, let's get back on with the size comparisons. Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Optimus Prime. An official 1984 ceramic Godzilla ashtray coming soon. A Bandai Japan and Godzilla figure, since I knew that question would eventually be asked anyway. Small Playmates Kongs. Big Playmates Kongs. And King Series Godzilla 2017 and 2019. So before we cut to my face, I just want to say NECA's very first King Kong figure came out swinging. They did a pretty good job. There's a few areas where I want them to improve, namely just, you know, keeping the tones of brown the same color, please. And I am very excited for the probable repaints that'll be heading our way. I hope this figure sells really, really well. Oh, banana. It is like 70 something degrees outside and it's like 90 in here. Anyway. 
Those are my thoughts and opinions on NECA's King Kong figure. Excited for the future, excited for more. I would also very much like to extend my hearty loving thank you to my boy Alex, aka Kaiju Dork, for selling this lovely figure to me at a very loving price, especially with the aftermarket's looking like right now. Thank you, Kaiju Dork. This video would not exist without you. And I really do appreciate that letter. I'm absolutely keeping that letter. I just want to reaffirm that. It was a very sweet thing of you to say, and I'm glad the content I make helps you get through the day. And that goes for all of you. If you've ever laughed on a day where you felt like crying and you laughed because of my dingy face, then I'm glad I'm doing content. I'm glad you're enjoying content and I'm glad you can come to my content for a good laugh. But anyway, everybody, I have been Shin Rob Jira and I will see you all next week as we return to the Playmates Godzilla Classics line. <laughs> and this figure really isn't that bad. <laughs>